So let's start to send data from the server to the client and vice versa. So after after this waiting for connection, which is which runs on a separate thread, uh, so when it receives a connection from the client, it will uh, create a con uh, connection object and also it will return the address. So we are we are going to use this con uh, object to actually send the data to the client. So I'm going to here into the Pygames um, main loop or the game loop and here after the mouse that get position I'm going to create a cell uh, x and a cell y uh, variables and I'm going to just cut this position 0 integer division by 200 and position at index 1 integer division by 200 and here just going to replace it with cell x and cell y so cell x and cell y so now I'm going to I'm going to create a string and it will be the send underscore data and the send, send data will be a formatted string so I'm going to use these curly braces and into the first curly brace uh, I'm going to put the cell x and then a dash and the second curly braces will go the cell y so using the dot format method now I'm going to give it the cell x and the cell y and this format method will automatically convert this cell x and cell y into a string so the next thing before you can send this data you need to encode it into a byte string because you cannot send regular strings uh, through uh, sockets, through TCP. So it's easy, you just need to encode this. So first we are going to format it and the cell X will go to, the, to this, to this uh, place for, placeholder, cell Y will go to this placeholder and after that it will just encode the string into a byte string so we can send it through through the TCP network okay now the data is prepared I'm going to use the con object that send method to send not con but con send the send data okay let me see but first of all, uh, this con object will be created when the, when the client is connected. But until the client is connected, the con is just none. So first I'm going to try it out, but uh, that's why I created this connection established uh, variable. So that I can ask here that if the event type is pygame.mouse button down and I'm going to delete this grid that gave game over and replace it with the connection established is also true, then we are going to do all of these. So we are going to uh, create this formatted string, encoded formatted string, and send to the client through this connection object with which is created here in the waiting for connection and uh, now this was the this was the server side and now on the client side we need to somehow receive this data so here is the receive data function and i'm going to create a while loop so so an infinite while loop so this will run infinitely 
and and uh, this is needed because we are we don't want to just receive the data and close the connection we are always want to check if any new data is is coming or not and uh, the thing uh, the reason why i put this into a separate thread is the is the receiving function or the receiving method so um, where is the sock so that receive is also a blocking method or a blocking command so without uh, putting it into a separate thread it will block the main thread so the game and the game window will be not responsive it will not respond so that's why we needed to put it into a separate thread so this receive uh, just give it or the well, I mean this is the length of a of a stream or a length of a byte it can receive so 124 bytes which is about one megabyte and because we en encoded here in the server side we also need to decode it so soc that receive that decode it will receive as a string and it will decode it as a normal python string and i'm just going to print it for now so now it should work i'm going to test this let me see Okay, so let's create command window, talk two command windows, one for the client and one for the server. And here I'm going to run the server, so Python server.py. And here Python client.py. Okay, it says the client is connected and now I'm going to click on the server and as you can see from the server now it's sent to the client that hey I I clicked on the zero zero cell this is the one zero this is a two zero this is a two two one one so now the client receives the clicked uh, clicked uh, cell coordinates and to actually make this a little bit uh, easier to run these applications outside i'm just going to create two batch files so a new uh, text docu document and i'm going to name this server and instead of the txt i'm going to name it that bat server that bat yes and also going to create one for the client so text document uh, client client and the file extension should be but so two batch files and in the server that but i'm going to edit it and add here the command python server dot by and just save it and in the client that but edit python client dot pi client dot pi so now instead of always uh, opening up uh, this command windows now i just can double click on the server that but and on the client that but and it opens automatically um, and the next thing I don't like is uh, now the we have two windows and they are created in the same position. So here in the OS uh, that environment as the video window position for the server, I'm going to set the windows position to 200 and 100, and for the client, I'm going to set uh, it to let's say 850 and 100. And now when I create, here is the first window and here it creates the second window. 
Now the client can receive data from the server. So let's send also data from the client to the server. So I'm going to the while loop, the main application loop. And I'm also going to define here on the client side a cell x and a cell y, which will be equal to this. So the position at index 0, integer division by 200, and the cell y will be position at index 1, integer division by 200, and I'm going to replace these two with cell x and cell y. And here I'm also going to create a send data, send underscore data, and uh, using also the formatted string. So that format, format, and the cell x, cell x, and this cell y, and also going to encode it into a byte string, and I'm going to send it through the sock that send send and that's not set time mode but send and send data so here on the server side uh, remember we are using the connection that send connection object which is created here by the sock that accept and on the client side we are using the sock that send or the socket that send method so now on the server side, uh, here is the receive data. I'm also going to create here a while loop, an infinite while loop. So while true, while true data equals um, data equals. I can't remember that the socket that receive or the connection that receive, but I think it's the connection connection the tree re. um, I have it open here somewhere yes it is a connection that receive okay connection that uh, receive and also 124 bytes and also as encoded not encoded but decoded decoded string <clears throat> let me see uh, if it works or not so let's print the data decode okay I'm going to test it okay I'm going to run the server that but or the batch file and Client that batch, and now let me see the windows and also the consoles. So when I click on the server, it sends the data to the client. And now let's try on the client. Okay, and as you can see, it sends the data to the server. So now the connection, I mean the communication between the two is working